Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and today I'm going to teach you, you, about trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios. Okay, so this is a big fancy word that if you are able to learn and master trigonometric ratios, you'll be able to do big and fancy things. Uh, but first things first, let's learn how to say this gigantic word. So, uh, repeat after me. tri go no metric ratios trigonometric ratios uh, so um, before we can uh, yeah do big and fancy things we have to learn the basics and so let's learn the basics about trigonometric ratios so um, first things first here's some key words that we need to know opposite adjacent and hypotenuse uh, so if you've uh, gotten this far in geometry you should be able to know what one of these words means hypotenuse and so the hypotenuse is the side well wait wait press pause draw this in your notebooks make sure that it's drawn in your notebooks and then and then follow along okay unpause so hypotenuse is the side that is opposite the 90 degree angle okay and it's the longest side because it's opposite the biggest angle out of the three angles so the hypotenuse is side z okay now that should be automatic hopefully you guys you guys know that one now opposites now when we're talking about opposites okay we're always talking about the opposite of some kind of angle is a side so this the opposite of an angle is a side so what side is opposite of angle a uh, so here's angle a and think of a being a flashlight what is it flashing uh, it is flashing side X because so here's a and then the light is shining on X so the opposite side which would be side X now in the same way uh, the opposite of angle B here is angle B and it is flashing it is it is shining its lights on side Y okay so there's that's what opposite means okay the opposite of 90 is Z which is the hypotenuse the opposite of a is X and the opposite of B is Y all right now adjacent just means next to okay you're if, if you have your brother or sister next to you or your mom is sitting next to you right now and you guys are watching this video together oh that's nice um, now that just means next to so what is adjacent what is next to angle a well there's two sides that are adjacent to angle a there's y and there's z uh, we want to pick the side that isn't that doesn't already have a name z already has a name it's a hypotenuse so the adjacent to a would be side y okay so yeah there's two sides that are adjacent to angle a but we want to pick the one that is not the hypotenuse so that's why Okay, and now uh, here, what's adjacent? The adjacent of angle B is the side that is not the hypotenuse. We know Z is the hypotenuse, so adjacent to B would be side X. Okay, all right, so press pause, take five seconds and review these. Like, cover it up and see if you could get these really quick and know which, what hypotenuse opposite and adjacent means. Okay, all right, now to the real deal trigonometric ratios it's these three words these are the three uh, trigonometric ratios that you're going to learn in geometry now these words they, they might look a little familiar uh, they come from your calculator you've seen these buttons on your fancy scientific calculator it's right here uh, these three words this is sine okay cosine and tangent okay now don't say sin don't say cost and don't say tan okay they just put these three letters okay they, they shorten it out because really if they made the buttons as big as the word spell out sign would be jealous because cosine and tangent buttons would be way wider than that so you know trying to make it equal equality so sign cosine tangent this is how you really spell it all out these are just abbreviations of it okay so sine okay when we're talking about sine this is always an angle so let's put a little angle symbol here cosine an angle and then tangent of an angle is the opposite over 
So the opposite side of that angle over the high pa tin noose. So you have to memorize these, okay? So you have to make these automatic. So sine of an angle is the opposite side of that angle over its hypotenuse. That's the ratio. That's the trigonometric ratio. Remember, a ratio just means a fraction. Okay, the cosine of an angle is that angle's adjacent adjacent side over the high pa to noose. Okay, so the cosine of that angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and the tangent is of that angle of an angle is the opposite over its adjacent side. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff to memorize. Okay, but a quick way to memorize this is this. Say these three weird words. So, ka, toa. Again, say so. See, did you hear that? So, ka, toa. If you can remember those three weird sounds, you can remember these three, um, three ratios. Okay, so. So, I'm going to write this. I'm going to put equals so. So is the sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Ka, you hear that? Then ka is the cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And Toa. Toa is the opposite over the adjacent. So this is how you remember them. Sine is so, o, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is toa, toa. The tangent is the opposite over adjacent. Press pause and practice that. Make make sure you can remember soka toa and what the actual what each of these letters actually mean. All right, unpause. Okay, so now let's get to these ratios. So let's figure this out. The sine of x. Remember, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the so. So what's the opposite of angle x? Is thirty over the hypotenuse, which is 50. And if we can simplify that, remember, with, with the tens places, you could cancel out the zeros, and the sine of x would be just 3 over 5. Now, cosine of x, oh yeah, press pause, draw this in your notes. Make sure you draw this in your notes. Okay, so uh, the cosine of x is the ka, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So what side is next to x? That's not the hypotenuse, it's 40. So the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 50. And we could simplify this to 4 fifths. You always want to simplify your ratios, okay? And now the tangent is toa. Tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So here is x, and the opposite is 30 over the adjacent. Okay, what's next to, to angle x but not the hypotenuse? It's 40. So 30 over 40, we could simplify that to 3 over 4. All right, there you go. You've done your first trigonometric ratio, okay? So, um, yes, hopefully you'll be able to do this. So press pause and, and, and do these. So find the sine of z, cosine of z, and tangent of z. All right, so the sine of z is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So opposite of z, okay, it's flashing the 40 over the hypotenuse, 40 over 50. Cancel those out, which is 4 fifths. The cosine of z is the ka. Uh, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this is 
the side is next to Z, but not the hypotenuse, which is 30, over the hypotenuse, which is 50. Cancel these out, 3 over 5. And the last one, tangent of Z, the TOA. Okay, it's the opposite. So opposite of Z is 40 over the adjacent, what's next to Z, it's 30. 50 is also, but that's a hypotenuse, so it's 30. Cancel those out, so which would be 4 thirds. All right, so hey, you've done your first trigonometric ratios. Okay, let's do a couple more. All right, press pause, draw this in your notes, and then answer these, fill out these ratios, and make sure you simplify them, okay? All right, you should be done by now. So sine of A, opposite, so the opposite of A is 10, over so the hypotenuse, which would be 26. And we could divide both 10 and 26 by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 26 divided by 2 is 13. All right, now the cosine of A, cosine, here's angle A, uh, is the adjacent, so the adjacent to A is 24. Remember, 20, so the next two, but not the hypotenuse. And now over the hypotenuse, which is 26, we can divide both 24 and 26 by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 26 divided by 2 is 13. All right, and the tangent of A, the OA, okay, the tangent, the opposite, over the adjacent, opposite of A is 10. The adjacent is 24. So 10 over 24. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Hopefully you're getting these. Hopefully they're getting easy for you. Okay, so uh, sine of C, the opposite, over the hypotenuse, 24 divided by 26. Divide those by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 26 divided by 2 is 13. Now the cosine of C is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So 10 over 26, which would be 5 over 13. And the tangent of C is the opposite, which is 24, over the adjacent which would be 10. Remember, adjacent's next to, but not the hypotenuse, okay? And 24 divided by 10, uh, divide, divided by two is 12. 10 divided by two is five. There we go, trigonometric ratios. Hopefully, they're not as as, as scary as, as they sounded at first, okay? But yeah, these are the basics. And as, as you master these, we'll be able to do fancier things and fancier things. But let's do this last last example. So press pause. Put this in your notes. All right. And then quickly do them. All right. Sine of x is the opposite. 28 over the hypotenuse. 35. And we could divide each of these by 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 35 divided by 7 is 5. The cosine of x, the adjacent, is 21 over hypotenuse, which is 35. We can divide those by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Tangent of x. Yeah, let's, remember, don't say sin, cos, and tan. Say sine, cosine, and tangent. So tangent is the opposite, which is 28, over the adjacent, which is 21. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. 21 divided by 7 is 3. All right, and last three. Okay, so let's finish strong. The sine, not sin, sine, sine, sine of Z, the opposite over the hypotenuse. Opposite is 21 over the hypotenuse is 35. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Cosine of Z, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 28 over 35. 28 divided by 7 is 4. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And the very last one. Can you feel it? We're almost there. We're almost there. Tangent of Z, the opposites, is 21 
over the adjacent is 28. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. That's it. Those are the basic trigonometric ratios uh, later on in your class. Uh, in our class, we're going to do some fancier things. But make sure you know you can do these. Okay, so it's very important that you can do these uh, because there's going to be fancier things that we do. So, yeah. All right. That's it. That's trigonometric ratios. Have a great day.